Shelly has launched some new smart wall switches that are unlike any other smart switches that I've seen before, in that they have a more modular approach to how they work by being able to mix and match different configurations to suit your specific needs. Let's take a look at how they work and if they are any good. And you know who is good? Our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay are a one-stop shop for all of your electronic project needs, offering high quality PCB printing services, CNC, 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication, and everything else you need to make your DIY project become a reality. Check them out with the link in the video description. Full transparency as always, Shelly did send me a bunch of these frames and relays for me to check out, but no money changed hands and they do not get to see this video before it goes live. So if you haven't ever used any Shelly products before, for a couple of years now, Shelly has been known for their line of smart relays, which all started with the Shelly One, a cheap single channel smart relay that uses Wi-Fi, has local control and are really compact. This has made them a really popular way of turning something that is not smart into something that is. From lights, extractor fans, coffee makers, garage doors and so much more can all be made smart with a Shelly. Since the original Shelly One, they have been really expanding their lineup with a bunch of other relays with more channels, adding power monitoring, dimmer modules, and even started branching out into their own sensors and devices. These relays are particularly popular for being able to pop in behind your existing light switch, meaning you can maintain the original look and feel. And a killer feature is that the original functionality of the light can be kept so that the light switch can still operate physically as well as smartly. But now Shelly has launched their own light switches that work alongside their line of relays and give you this pretty cool modular approach, something I've not really seen done before with light switches. And so the idea here is that you can buy these in a one, a two, or a four channel configuration. And then you literally just clip in your Shelly into the back of the module, wire it up to your wall, and you have a very customizable light switch. And these are available in black or white, along with a single, double, or triple frame sizes. And I love the ability to just snap in whichever really fits your needs, and it being nice and modular. So for example, I can take this single channel Shelly and just snap it right into place into the clip holder, just pops right in like so, snaps in. And then you take your light switch module, so I've got a single, a single button one here, you feed the wires through like so. And then you just literally, once you've got the wires through, just literally snap it into place. And that is you now good to wire these up to the Shelly, put it in the wall, and then you have a very customizable wall switch. Same with the two button configuration. So you just grab whichever Shelly fits your needs, pop it into the holder at the back, snap it into place, and then you are good to actually just wire these up, stick it in the wall, and you are good to go. Once you've got your button configuration selected and you've put in your relay and wired it up to the wall, then you have these little frames that simply clip onto the front. You just push them on like so, and then that gives you the full light switch. These are available in a one, a two, and a three uh, size frame so that you can have multiple of these all lined up next to each other. Maybe you want a single button for controlling a light, or maybe you want a double button that can control two separate lights and also has power monitoring for each relay. Or maybe you want a four button switch for a scene control using the new Shelly i4. Whatever you want, you can pretty much mix and match to get the functionality you need. Just make sure that the relay you are choosing is compatible with the button configuration. Since some of the Shelly's are slightly different shapes depending on which line of products you buy, Included inside the switches are different frames for using it with the different models. And that makes it great for say, if you fit a single channel Shelly one today, and then in six months time, you want to switch to the power monitoring version. You simply swap out the relay and change the frame and you are good to go. No need to have to rebuy the switch or anything like that since the holders are included in the box by default. The switches are just under eight euros per switch, which is around six pounds. And it's the same price for if you want the one, the two or the four button version in black or white. You'll need to factor in the price of the frame though, which is around another three pound 50. So let's call it 10 pound all in 
for these switches themselves and then you have the cost of the relay which will vary depending on which model you choose. As for the actual switches themselves, they don't look too bad and they are pretty inexpensive, particularly if you have some relays in behind your regular light switches already and you want to pick up some of these. The buttons are okay, not the best I've ever felt. If you click them at the right point, then they do feel great. But for example, on the double button that I have here, if you press nearer the top, then you won't actually activate the switch and you might not actually be able to press them on until you move your finger further down. Not ideal if you're fumbling around in the dark, but it shouldn't be a problem on the four button switch because the buttons are actually much smaller, so they always activate. I'm not a huge fan of the design of the frame either, but I realize that this is subjective and everyone's tastes will differ. I wish it was a little bit bigger on the outside so that the back box wasn't as visible from the side, and I wish that it didn't have the lip at the edge where it meets the buttons themselves and was a little bit more flush. I also find that the button unit itself needs to be a bit bigger for UK back boxes too, otherwise it barely, and I mean barely, grips to the edge and almost falls through the middle of the back box. This means that I wasn't able to tighten the screws all the way down for fear of snapping it, and it means that the unit can move around a bit, but your mileage may vary. To install the light switches themselves, they come with wires already run and attached, and you just need to find the correct relay holder for your relay, run the wires through it and clip it into place. Then snap your relay into place and screw the wires into the relay with the screw terminals. Then you are free to go ahead and wire it into your light switch, however is suitable for you, making sure to turn off the power first. Once you turn the power back on, you'll need to add the Shelly to your Wi-Fi using the Shelly app by going to Add Devices, finding the network you want to add, and then searching for Shelly's and connecting them to your Wi-Fi. Once you manage to get it connected, you'll probably want to change the behavior of the relay and the buttons to suit your preferences. You'll probably want to set the mode to be a switch and then set the type to flip, meaning that the button will toggle the relay on and off each time you press it. Other than that, these act just like normal Shelly's do because, well, they are. So you can get your power monitoring if you have one of the PM line of Shelly's. You can trigger another Shelly from here. You can connect them to ALEXA or Google Home if you want for voice control, or you can go as far to install your own custom firmware like ESP Home or Tasmota. Another cool thing, although not limited to the Shelly buttons, is that within five minutes inside of Home Assistant, I was able to set this double switch with a single press, a double press, and a triple press action for each button. And they also support an additional two actions per button, giving you a total of five actions per button or 10 actions in total, if you really wanted to. Not sure if you could remember what each action actually did, but hey, the functionality is there. I have a single press set up to control each light that is hardwired in, and then a double press of the left rocker will turn on this lamp, a double press of the right rocker will turn on the TV ambilight, and then a triple press of either side will turn off all the lights. You could expand this to run scenes, scripts, or automations, pretty much anything you can think of really with a few minutes of work, and these could potentially be a pretty versatile little switch in the right situation. So that is some new wall switches from Shelly with their new modular approach to things. Honestly, I think for the money, these are kind of cool, especially if you have Shelly's already tucked away in behind your wall, then these could be a good option to get a little bit more out of them if you are into the design. Super easy to swap things around and change things out if you need to in the future, and the price for the frames are not too bad considering. But what do you think about these new kind of modular approach to wall switches from Shelly? Are you into them or are you not? Please do let me know in the comments. And if perhaps these wall switches don't quite do it for you and you're looking for some others, check out this video out here where we got into the flashing of some wall switches from Sonoff with ESP Home. And I think those wall switches look really good. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.